Nobody gave up on this case. We were fighting this case to the very end. El Paso County prosecutors outlined today for the first time publicly what happened to last year's criminal case against the person accused of murdering five people inside Club Q almost three weeks ago. The district attorney says that case wasn't dismissed due to lack of effort. Instead, the DA blamed the suspect's mother and grandmother. Yeah, we've been talking about what happened in 2021 for some time now after the Club Q shooting. Deputies did arrest Anderson Aldrich last year. This after the suspect's grandmother made a call to 911 reporting the suspect had threatened the family with a bomb and guns and said he wanted to be a mass shooter. Well, Kevin Vaughn from our 9 Wants to Know team is just back from Colorado Springs to talk about these new developments. We expected to see the uh, arrest and, and that data from the 2021 uh, arrest unsealed. It hasn't quite happened yet. It hasn't quite happened yet, but what we do know is that the suspect was charged with three counts of kidnapping and two counts of menacing in that case last year. But after a year in court, the charges were dropped and the files were sealed. Today began with a court fight over those sealed records, which were sought by a group of news organizations. The judge ordered their release, ruling that in light of last month's shooting, it was important for the public to have a full understanding of what happened and what unfolded after deputies arrested the suspect in June 2021. Republican District Attorney Michael Allen said this afternoon, prosecutors were unable to locate the Club Q suspect's family members to serve them with subpoenas despite re repeated attempts. And he said the case could not be prosecuted without their cooperation. You have to have witnesses that are listed victims to come into the courtroom and testify as to why they are a victim, what happened to them, what was said to them, what they saw. Without those witnesses getting on the stand, uh, there's no way to get a conviction on those charges. Allen suggested the Club Q suspect's family members ducked being served to testify, and he said defense attorneys were also unable to find them. So th that raises a question as far as the intensity of the search for them. I mean, if they, if they had taken this case to the nth degree, uh, it's likely they would have been able to find these people. We don't know yet what they exactly did, because as we said at the top, the files have not actually been unsealed yet. But we know the grandparents moved to Florida in the interim, and so they were working with authorities in Florida to try to find them. They were working in Colorado to try to find the suspect's mother, and they said repeated attempts by both them and the defense came up empty on that front. As far as mm. unsealing the 2021 information, who was fighting against that being unsealed today? The only people who spoke against that were uh, Alan, uh, Anderson Aldrich's defense attorneys, an attorney for his mother, and um, the court was told that his grandmother, who made that 911 call, also opposed the release, although she did not speak at the hearing today. So, but did the DA, and DA indicate, like, had they been able to reach them and prosecute that case, this could have been prevented? Well, he argued, the district attorney argued that the only thing that could have prevented what happened at Club Q is if they had gotten a conviction and the suspect had been sent to prison and was off okay. the streets and not, um, not out there. They took his guns away in 2021, two guns, one of them a ghost gun, a pistol, one a rifle. They never gave them back. They still have them. But he still was able to get guns but legally. He got other guns, apparently sometime between then and last month's tragedy in Colorado Springs. And the decision by the judge to unseal, and that will be unsealed sometime we expect today, uh, she appeared decisive about the, the public's need to know, certainly trumping any other needs. She said that it was critical, given what happened at Club Q, for the public to have an understanding of how the El Paso County Sheriff's Department, the District Attorney's Office, and the court system handled that 2021 case. And the defense tried to uh, get this delayed. They, tr they asked for a stay so they could appeal to the Supreme Court. Um, and she rebuffed them at every turn and said these are going to be released. So they're going through a redaction process right now. We've been waiting for them all day. Um, you know, it's now a little after four o'clock and we're still waiting. Well, we will, of course, uh, as soon as that is out, uh, have much more on that at Nine News here as well as at 9news.com. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you.